left the tap open? Oh, I see. Have I told you about Ryan the goat and what he did with his water tap? It was a lazy Sunday morning when Ryan the goat got a call from his neighbor, Janet the sheep. Janet had just returned from a holiday and she couldn't wait to share with Ryan about all the fun she had. She had made an album with all the photos she took. Ryan put his shirt on quickly and got ready. He was just about to leave when his father yelled, Hey, Ryan, you've forgotten to turn the tap off. Ryan looked at the flooded bathroom her mom was mopping. She gave him a stern glance. Ryan said he is sorry, but it wasn't enough. His father asked him to wash his car as a punishment. Ryan was in a hurry. Hence, he decided to wash the car with the water hose in the lawn. Suddenly, Janet calls him from her home. She shouts, Hey, Ryan, I have this album for you. Please come over soon. Ryan threw the hose on the ground and went to meet Janet. The album was quite interesting and beautiful. Janet talked about each photo and the story behind it. Ryan was excited. He also told Janet about the dinosaur book he got recently. All this while, the water from the hose was flowing toward the driveway. Then Janet's mother asks them if they want to go to the beach. Ryan got excited and went back to his house to take a bath and get ready. Halfway into the bath, water stops coming from the tap. Ryan is all covered in bubbles and soap. Ryan asks his mom the reason, and mom goes out to check the water tank only to find it empty. All the water was gone because Ryan left the hose running. Ryan was embarrassed and he had to wash himself with very little water left in the bucket. He goes to Janet's house and sees her dad repairing a leaky tap. Janet told Ryan they don't waste water. Soon they leave for the beach. On their way, they see Horse Uncle sweeping his driveway. Janet's mom says it's a good thing that Horse Uncle is cleaning with a broom and not a hose. They also stopped and talked to Suzanne Auntie, who was watering her garden with a watering can. When they reached the beach, Ryan asked, Look at all the water. Why are people worried about a water shortage? Janet's mom asked him to taste the water. And when he does, it's too salty. He realizes it's unfit for use. He decided not to waste water anymore and save more of it. Janet and Ryan spent the day playing in the sand and swimming in the sea. From next day onwards, Ryan used the leftover water in his bottle to water the plants. He also made a narrow canal from the kitchen drain to the flower bed. He also made a watering can by making holes in a can, just like the one Suzanne Auntie had. For bath now, he uses only a bucket of water. Ryan learned how to save water. Now, whoever has left the water tap on, I hope has got the lesson. That's my kids.